And now, your first alert five weather. Wanted to share a couple photos from this morning's eclipse. It peaked at 1036 a.m. here in southern Colorado, and it wasn't a total blocking of the sun. And even those who were in the total path of this eclipse just saw a ring of fire. There was multiple ways to view it, either from a camera lens that had a solar uh, protector on it, either from eclipse glasses or from Leslie here putting pinholes and creating shadows in unusual places where you can see that really cool uh, sun eclipse. So meanwhile, that is now done and it's been a chilly day. Definitely feeling like fall out there. We're in the upper 40s in Monument Woodland Park, mostly 50s for the rest of the region. Our hot spots are Salida, Westcliff and Alamosa in the low 60s. So in general, we've kind of been stuck with this cold air the past few days. Thanks to our cold front several days ago, that cool air continues to march into the eastern half of the US and that's where the cool air is now. And as we're looking ahead towards the rest of the weekend, that cold air sticks around for the East Coast, but we're going to be replaced with nice warming high pressure. And so temperatures will climb each and every day all the way up till Tuesday of next week. So tonight we are going to be freezing again. So make sure to still make preparations if maybe you want to harvest a little extra things from your garden you didn't get to before last night. Still got some time to prepare that before we see that next freeze tonight. Then by tomorrow, we're back to seasonable temperatures. Up to 67 in the spring, 70 in Pueblo. It's pretty close to where we typically are this time of year. And it's been a couple days since I've been able to say that. We've been cooler than average. So tomorrow will feel nice. Lots of sunshine for tomorrow. 60s and 70s for highs and will be dry. Our winds tomorrow, they're going to be less than 10 miles per hour all day long, lots of sunshine. It's going to be a really pleasant day here across the region. Now looking ahead even further, we are seeing lots of 70s popping back up on the board for Monday. Tuesday gets even warmer than that. It's going to be a pretty nice stretch of weather for us up to 80 by Tuesday. That's I would say warm for this time of year for sure. We're going to see a nice temperature rise after a cool morning in the 40s. You'll notice those overnight lows remaining above freezing as we head through the majority of next week. Our next breezy but dry cold front arrives Wednesday. That takes our temperatures back down to closer to average, but they're still not going to get unbearably cold and we'll stay in the 70s with sunshine into this time next weekend. For Pueblo, mostly 70s here on the super seven day forecast. Lots of sunshine and the 80s will be found on Tuesday and Saturday. So a couple of warm days ahead with overnight temperatures warming up as well. Canyon City, 70s by tomorrow and we stay in the 70s pretty much all week. Tuesday again that hot spot at 82 overnight lows warming into the 40s. And for Woodland Park, a couple nice days ahead for you as well as per usual or as per the rest of our region. Tuesday will be your warm day at 70, dropping down to the upper 50s by Wednesday.